All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Google Next, and who I have with me, uh, Yasmin, Managing Director of Data and Analytics. Uh, very happy to have you on the Robert Show. I saw your keynotes, uh, keynote, and loved it. And also, obviously, we all love your shoes. Uh, <laughs> if you guys want to see the shoes, I think Yasmin also posted it on LinkedIn, so you can go and check it out. But Yasmin. Today, I want to learn a lot about, you know, what's happening in AI, the announcements that were made at uh, the keynote, but also just for our audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself, tell us more about your role at Google? Of course, happy to do that. So I, uh, Managing Director of Data Analytics, and specifically, I lead strategy and outbound product management. Mm -hmm. So my, my team, we work a lot with customers, partners, we look at the market, at what's trending, what use cases are customers doing, what kind of capabilities are they looking for. And then we bring a lot of that insight back in-house and help build our strategy for where we're taking our products, our roadmaps, right. and then also launch products back out and get feedback. So it's a virtuous cycle. Right, okay, yes, 100%. It becomes very interesting when you kind of get to read the market, understand what's uh, happening in trending, but at the same time, it's a huge responsibility, I'm pretty sure, because you have to be at the forefront of uh, knowing the tech, understanding obviously what's changing and at least in the data space as well, now things evolve very quickly with AI coming into the game. Uh, that also brings me to another question which was about your keynote. Uh, I saw you doing amazing keynote, would you like to share a little about uh, that, what, what are the things that you announced, just for our audience to know a little more. Of course, so at our keynote we had a uh, a whole segment around agents. How are different agents going to right. change the game, incorporating now Gen AI? And specifically, uh, my segment was on the data agents. Uh, so looking at really how are organizations going to be able to access data, access insights, and leverage the power of Gen AI in more conversational experiences mm. to interact with business data. And with business data, it's a bit different from, say, a consumer chat interface. Business data, you can't get it wrong. It has to be 100% accurate. You have to have trusted insights. 100%. So, uh, you know, the demo was showing a lot around how Google is innovating the, the not just the data platform, but also the AI platform. So you have an AI-ready data foundation. You have all of the AI capabilities you need to get to trusted insights. And then through these new kind of visual, graphical experiences, you can look for insights, correlations, anomalies, search enterprise data and get to insight and action. That's awesome. I think uh, those are, you know, first of all, when I when I saw the announcement, I was so happy because it becomes very interesting for all the people who are in data. It becomes much more easier, faster and efficient as well. Uh, things kind of speed up very quickly with data agent. Uh, also, just on this itself, I wanted to ask you about, you know, obviously, we've seen so many challenges too in the data and AI space. Uh, do you want to share about a little bit of around the challenges that you saw in the uh, in the enterprise world and the solutions that Google has come up with, uh, with AI agents as well. Absolutely. I like to say that every Gen AI problem is actually a data problem in disguise. Mm. So here's the thing with Gen AI and deep learning models, they've been around for a while, but they were the domain of AI experts and AI engineers. So only a few people could use them before. Mm. Now with this Gen AI revolution, the AI technology has actually become super easy. In fact, in our big query platform, you can now run large language models from SQL in just a couple of lines of code. Yeah. So the AI has been democratized to a degree where any business user, analyst, um, data engineer can be using it. But you now need trusted data because if you're gonna run AI in a business context, you want to know that you've got a good data foundation, the predictions you are making are the correct ones when you're, especially now with Gen AI automating actions in the enterprise, mm. you want to know that they're trusted. And so there's a lot of focus now with the customers I speak to on the actual enterprise data foundation on, can I trust this data? How do I govern this data? 90% of my enterprise data is actually unstructured and I didn't really analyze it before. Now I've got mm. to start thinking about bringing all that unstructured data together. So what we call multimodal data. Multimodal data. Yeah. Okay, this is great and uh, fantastic insights. Uh, also quickly wanted to, uh, just for audience, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are actually working in the space and doing this. Do you have any advice for them, any best practices? Because the space is evolving very quickly and uh, like like we were talking about it, it 
evolves every month, every sometimes in days as well. So any any of your best practices or lessons learned you would like to share? Any advice? Sure, absolutely. When I look at the organizations who are actually being super successful with Genii, they are experimenting. And the hmm. experiments are not about I let me first define exactly how this is going to work in the enterprise and what's the ROI going to be. They're experimenting on use cases very rapidly. And the purpose sometimes is even just to get their organization and their people more familiar with the technology, understanding the technology. Right. So it's okay for use cases to, to fail fast and move quickly, learn the technology, learn what Jenny I can do, and then if it makes sense, push it into production. And you know, we had uh, Wendy's is a perfect example. They, um, they did a, a chat, essentially agent, that was used in their drive-throughs to take orders. Mm -hmm. And it was great. It was able to understand as customers were coming through what they were ordering for their meals. But ultimately, actually, they, f they found that this chat agent slowed down the drive-through process. So they're like, hang on a second, maybe this is not their perfect use case. Mm. But th the, their teams learned how to use the technology, and now they're applying it to several other areas. So the innovation, the pace of innovation is just so fast. We had 300 announcements over the last year, just in terms of the data analytics technology. So the key is don't get fixed on a specific large language model or a specific getting everything accurate and precise. The technology is evolving fast, experiment and move quickly. I love that because that's one of the things as well when I talk to enterprise leaders, but not only just those, but the vendors who are kind of, the organizations who are actually working in Jenny and they're like, oh, it's going to take us like at least next nine months to, you know, just get to the market. And mm -hmm. most of the time, the enterprises don't have the capacity to wait for that long because the space is evolving. They are at uh, a level where they want to go quickly into the market and do things. Uh, so it totally makes sense and resonates with at least what I'm hearing a lot from the market too. Yeah. So thanks for sharing that. Also, just on this, I know it's going to be a very interesting question, which is about the future predictions. So our space is... Uh, I know if I ask you like something around three, uh, at least, you know, two years back, I, the conversation I used to be, it used to be like where I used to be asking leaders that, okay, tell me what's going to happen in the next two years. Now I'm like, tell me what's going to happen in the next two months. What, what, what are you looking at? But yeah, whatever you have in mind, would love to know a little. Absolutely. And imagine looking after strategy where you're trying to look into the future. I think building a five-year strategy is just <laughs> impossible. impossible. And even looking out three years with the pace of innovation, it's only been eight months since the last next. And the amount of announcements that we have and how fast the technology has moved is just incredible. But, you know, as I look forward, we painted the picture in the keynotes around the, the world of agents and how they can completely transform businesses, including the services that you offer as businesses, how you interact with data. And I think we're really going to see that come to life over the next, um, uh, over the coming future. Yeah. The, the original genesis of Gen AI when it came out last year was the consumer chat interface, a Q&A. Mm. But that, that was the first innings of Gen AI. We're going to move beyond the chat interfaces. Right. Because that's a user having to go to a chat interface to get an answer. What we're seeing is actually Gen AI being embedded into the way data teams work. BI embedded into the places where business users are, if they're right. in sheets, if they're in documents, if they're writing a presentation, and actually assisting them as they do those tasks. Mm. And so that embedding means it's less about Jenny I being this individual thing, it's actually giving assistance throughout the cycle. And in some cases, it's hidden, it's, it's intelligence that's just baked into the platform. And it's automation where actually mm. you get to agents that communicate with one another and automate entire segments of the data analytics life cycle yeah. where you, there's intelligence there, there's Gen AI there, and it's freeing up really human time to go do the creative stuff. Right. I love it. And uh, thanks for sharing these insights. Uh, it definitely, you know, things are going to go beyond what we are doing right now. And it will be rapidly done. As we've seen in the last eight months, there have been so many announcements by Google. And I remember the, the last uh, Next that we had in August. Yes. And now here we are with such great announcements. And it has been a pleasure watching all the announcements, uh, going out and checking these, uh, you know, innovations that are happening as well. 
But one, one last question I wanted to ask for the uh, audience is if they want to reach out to you, where can they do that? I'm pretty sure they have so many more questions they would like to catch up. If they have a company that they are, you know, working on, they're innovating things in data and analytics, uh, how can they reach out to you? Well, we love to hear from you here at Google Cloud, so do reach out. Um, they can find me on LinkedIn, okay. absolutely, and uh, we'd love to hear about all of the innovation happening out there. Thank you, Yasmin. This was such a uh, great chat, and thanks for all the insights, uh, and uh, I can't wait to have you again on The Rabbit Show. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.